Hi, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we are going to discuss about a new data structure in collection framework that is Stack. Now, Stack is a data structure which follows the principle of first in, last out. Now, this means that on you can only either uh, insert or remove the element from one side of the stack or one side of the structure. So, stack can be implemented with the help of arrays as well as linked list. So, we can implement the stack in any way. Okay. Now, in collection framework, there are two classes that implement stack data stru structure or you can say that are made for implementing stack data structure. The first one is a legacy collection framework class that is the stack class itself. And second one is array deck class that we have seen yesterday that was used for queue data structure. But it can also be used for stack data structure implementation. So let's see how uh, we can implement stack data structure. Now, first we will be using stack class. So, we will be using stack class. Okay. So, stack, let's take integer. Stack, new, stack. Okay. Now, remember, stack has only three to four functionalities that we can perform on it. The first one is push operation. Push means to insert the element into the stack. Okay. Second is peak operation to see the or to see the element at the top of the stack. And third is pop to remove the element from the top of the stack. Okay. And fourth, you can say is empty to ver verify whether the stack, uh, if the stack is full or if the there is space in the stack. Okay. So, First, we will do push. So, we push 12. We push. Okay, wait. Stack dot push 34. Stack dot push 56. Stack dot push, let's say 100. Okay. Now, here, first we have inserted 12, then we have inserted 34, then we have inserted 56, and then we have inserted 100. Now consider a stack, now consider a bucket in which only you can fill the water from one side of the bucket, right? So in a bucket, if you put some plates, okay, so the plate you put first, you can only remove later at the end of when everything removed from it. So 12 will go to the last, 34 will be going to the second last, 56 after that, and 100 will be at the top. Okay, the so basically in stack, the first element will be 100. So let's print this. Okay, so if we print this, the stack, we get 12, 34, 56, and 100. Now, I, uh, the representation may be a bit confusing, but you must understand that this 100 is at the top of the stack. Now to verify it, let's print stack dot peak. Okay. Now peak element will just give the element that is present at the top of the stack. So if we run this, we get 100. Okay. Now there is an operation called stack dot pop. In stack.pop, it will remove the element at the top of the stack that is 100. So, if you now print the stack after popping operation, we will get 12, 34, and 56. Right? Now, you can see that 100 is removed, not 12, <coughs> because 100 is at the top. Only after you remove 56 and 34, you can remove 12. Okay, so this is the basic operation that is present in the stack and the, these are the only three operations that we perform on a stack. There are very interesting questions related to stack which we will discuss in upcoming videos. But right now, 
we have to understand what a stack data structure is. Now next, moving on to next implementation is array deck class. Okay, that we have seen yesterday. So in array deck class, we have to take the reference variable of array deck only. Though we can take the reference variable of deck interface also if you want because it uh, its immediate parent class is deck interface uh, sorry immediate parent uh, interface is deck interface okay so here now array deck also perform as stack how it has a push operation 23 now remember that array deck class is used for implementation of queue as well as stack both so it has all the methods of queue as well as the methods of uh, stack also okay and you can also use as or double ended queue so you have to decide how you want to use it okay so in stack because we know that only three operations are there push peak and pop so we will only use these three operations on array deck so first is array deck dot push let's say 21 array deck dot push 45 array deck oh, wait. Yes. dot push 67 now if you print the array deck class or uh, this array deck uh, object then we get a stack and uh, wait I comment up the above okay now if you see the result it is shown in a proper way 67 because is the first element because it is at the top of the stack 45 is after it 21 is after that and at the last at the bottom of the stack is 23 so this is also one of the uh, good uh, use of array deck so that we can get a proper view of array uh, stack data structure okay while we print the stack class uh, if you we view the stack in stack class then it doesn't give a proper uh, view and it is a bit confusing that which element is at the top okay so we can also perform peak operation. So we perform a peak operation. Aradac dot peak. Okay. So we peak, then we get 67 because it is at the top of the stack. And if if we pop and then if we print the stack. We will get 45, 21, and 23. Because now 45 will become the next, will now be the element at the top of the stack. Okay. So this was about the stack data structure that how it can be implemented or how can we use a stack by uh, use of a collection framework in Java. Okay. In the upcoming videos, we will see about the next and most important interface that is map, which is based on a dictionary based in data structure, a key value pair thing. Okay, so till then, bye bye.